on yet? Hello. Can you guys hear me yet? Is it better? Is it working, guys? Oh. <laughs> oh. I am so sorry. I've been talking for four minutes four whole minutes and you guys didn't hear a word of what I'm saying. So I guess I'm going to start this all over again. I'm so sorry. Okay. Cheers, everybody. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Okay. Let me just hop right into the meat. What we're talking about here today is how to uh, save money and where you can buy the cheapest yarn. But before we hop into how you can get the cheapest yarn, what I was talking about here before it was the super chat. You can always help support any of your favorite influencers on Super Chat by donating. When you do, I have tears to the little things that happen on in the background. So for $4.99 and down, we have the disco light that goes off. For the, um, what is it, uh, $9.99 and down, we'll have the bubbles and we'll have the disco light that goes off. For $10 and up, we'll have the balloons, the bubbles, and the disco light that goes off all at the same time. And I found out a couple weeks ago why sometimes this doesn't go off. It's because if you can use the little chat little animation things when you donate, that will prevent those from um, going off. And also, I always get so many uh, comments down in my chats. If I miss yours, I am so sorry. It's okay to comment more than once because it scrolled up too far and I missed it. But a way to pull that to the front is donating through Super Chat. I'll be able to see that instantly. And I would like to welcome all of our uh, moderators here today that's going to be helping along in this chat. We have a lot of information going on right now. I have four pages. So if you're talking amongst yourself, it's okay. So we want to welcome Reggie, a.k.a. Uh, J. Hook Crochet. She is all the way from Germany. We have the Aquarian Queen from New York. Her name is Letty. And I hope she is here. Deborah's here. Thank you for joining us here today, Deborah. She is from Florida. She is our third moderator, all these women were so wonderful to donate their time to help me during this chat to keep all the weirdos out. So we got into that. Oh, and also this cup, what I was talking about before I found out the volume was off. This ain't coffee. This ain't tea. It's wine. I keep it on stock during the whole live stream. It's something to do this week. I'm drinking some Moscato and sorry, I missed you last week. I came down with a horrible cold. But thankfully, I'm back at it. I have all this information ready. I actually had two weeks to prepare, prepare all of this. So let me take a deep breath and have a drink, and we're going to hop right into this. Oh, let's see who's here. We have a lot of people here today. We have um, Amers, Amers, I hope I pronounced that right, from Georgia. We have Victoria Price here. We have Hep Effie. She says, hello, everyone, and Kathy Alexander. All right. We are going to separate this into, because um, I've noticed, apparently people from around the world watch this. So I have a couple things separated in areas, as in by location, American, or uh, we have something specific for Australia and Canada. But they're pretty short and quick. So let's hop into the first ones. This is not American. This one is a yarn place. Everybody get your pens, because there's only over 25 of these. This is... Um, from, oh, let me pull up all these tips because I've got people who um, mention these. This is from My Julia. All yarns online shopping. So well priced, great quality, quick delivery, very helpful staff. When I emailed them questions, lots of sale items. Definitely will be buying from them again. This yarn place is specifically for Australia. I found out, I guess it's pretty hard to get good yarn in Australia. I'm very lucky to live in America where I have like a craft yarn store every single 10 miles. So I always have yarn on hand. All right. We have another one. This is specifically for Canada. They have comparably priced yarns. They are Yarn Canada. Their shipping is $50. Um, if you spend up to $55, you get free shipping. And anything else, it's like a $5 flat rate. Now, this one, we only have one specific American. And after this, we're going to go completely in the worldwide. 
but this one is called Smiley's. I'm going to bring this one up. Who recommended this? Uh, ice yarn and hobium and a little jewel in a rough is called Smiley's yarn. Smiley's yarn is definitely one of those jewels in a rough. My previous favorite one, what was it? It was called DBNY, and unfortunately, DBNY went out of business. This past January, I was able to get so much free, not free yarn, cheap yarn for them. I had a video, I should have linked it down below, where I bought 100 skeins of yarn for $68. 100 skeins of yarn. It averaged out to like 60 or something uh, cents a skein. It was like the best thing ever, but unfortunately, I only I came, found them like only this past July, so I only got to use them for six months, and now they're gone. So let me show you some other places. Let's see. We're going to bring up Smiley's Yarn. Where are we at? Here we go. Smiley's Yarn. Let me tell you a little bit about them. Uh, I was supposed to bring up their yarn page. I didn't have this set up appropriately yet. Let's see where their yarn is. Yarn, yarn. Oh, guys, forgive me. I want to have the, here it is, shop for yarn. We found it. And I always love to sort by low to high. Let's check out some of their yarns. They have a ton of it in different fibers and uh, colors. A huge assortment. Let's scroll down so we can see. Some as low as 99 cents. I even seen some even lower. Let me check on my list for the shipping. All right, their shipping is $12.99 for minimum shipping, that's flat rate, but anything over $50 in a continuous uh, United States, but not Hawaii, for $50 and over, you would get free shipping. Awesome place to shop. If you're an American, definitely shop there. Let me bring this back up to us. All right, so here we go. Next, we are, oh, there's one more just plain American yarn. We are going to check out here we go. Dill Genie. This one's from Tammy. Hey, ladies, I've ordered from Dill Genie. It is cheap. One thing I ordered was the Red Heart Sachet, a three-pack for $7. I spent $40 that day. Love what I received and plan to order again. Okay, this one, I definitely... How do I get that off? This one... I wasn't going to go through all the websites and show you everything, but I wanted to show you this website because it was actually pretty awesome. Let's see. Let's go down. Display. I'm much quicker at this, now, guys, now. So, Dill Genie. Look at the yarns they got here. They got Red Heart with Love, three for $7. I believe these usually go for $5.99. Red Heart Sparkle Soft, three for seven dollars. Great deal. I have. If you're not writing this down right now, don't worry. In a link in the description, I wrote a complete blog post with all of these websites listed. So don't worry about if you're missing something and you're not writing down. I got the blog post in a link down below. So their shipping is free if you order anything over twenty nine dollars, and their flat rate shipping is five dollars. Look. This is absolutely perfect. If you're getting something like a blanket, let me pull my mug back up. If you're, this isn't a place where you just get one skein of yarn, but if you're making something like a big project, like a blanket or something, definitely go there. And you're not going to have like a restock. You're not guaranteed to get that every single time. So when you're getting here, get enough for any project that you're going to make. Hey, let me check down in the um, chat what's going on. We got JNMH again. Hello, you're always coming back. Thank you. Welcome for joining us again. Or thank you for joining us again. Okay. I pronounced her name so wrong last time she was here. But she said I was happy I said her name anyhow. She wrote it down phonetic for me. I'm going to try to say it. I forget. You have to do it again. Kuwahala. Oh, girl, you have to tell me again. She said anything for Bangladesh. I didn't get anything specifically for Bangladesh, but I do have my next thing I'm going to be talking about is the worldwide where everybody can shop it because I want to, you know, everybody participate in this live stream. But once again, I pronounced your name wrong, but please type out your name phonetically for me, please. All right. 
Summer Murdoch says, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> All right. The next place we're going to look at is Willow Yarns. Willow Yarns. I'm not going to bring this one up, but they have um, well-priced items. Like one of their lowest price items is $1.49. And that was, and one of their highest was like 80, but it was for a six pack of imported yarn. And on my blog, I have um, the shipping policy link for everybody. But I'm just going to give you a brief description of their shipping policy. Because sometimes you can find great deals, but their shipping policy makes you think, hmm, maybe it's not worth it. So for them, they have free shipping for qualifying orders within the contiguous United States. Um, anything over $50 would be free shipping. They also have coupon codes and everything like that and make sure you check their sales section. All right, now we are going to go into the worldwide. This is for everybody, so nobody feels like neglected. All right, let's see, we already did that one for Dil Genie. Where are we? Oh, I forgot to bring up for uh, Gigi the Crochet Queen. She also recommended the Dil Genie, said they had super cheap yarn. She hasn't ordered because <laughs> I'm broke. I can't read what it says have enjoyed that i used them hmm, i didn't read that all the way let's scroll down take hers off all right this is worldwide dos box bomb says we crochet is a sister company of nitpicks selling the same yarns but at a lower free shipping minimum only 35 dollars for free shipping minimum in the united states their bra bra worsted is similar to thickness of care on simply soft <coughs> excuse me or loops and threads impeccable but tightly spun so it's never a uh, splitty that is the worst when yarns are always splitting i checked out uh we crochet they had wonderful yarns they're just like since they are the sister company of uh nitpicks but their yarn prices are basically comparable to other ones there's nothing that really uh sticks out but most of yarns you can see from like $4.99, $3.99 for the uh, basic yarns up to more expensive for the high quality fiber yarns. All right, next. Ooh, this was a good one. This is from Dawn Montgomery. I've never heard of this place before, so she was the first one to tip me off to this. But when I went to the website, loved them. All right, this is uh, Dara Moore's has a pretty good sales from time to time. Have any of you ever heard of this place? I've never heard of this place before she mentioned it. So, of course, I had to check it out. Let me scroll down and show you guys also. Where are we at? The Moors. Look at these prices. These are beautiful yarns. Cotton, 75 cents. This is They ship worldwide. So... If you want to know exactly what their shipping policy is, like I said, this is going to be all down in the description box below. Just click the link into the blog. But these prices are amazing. You can't beat this. I have not bought from them specifically, but what else do they have? They have a whole bunch of, let's see, they have kits. I've only explored the yarns. Let's scroll down. What's in their kits? Oh, look at these. I'm not a big kit person myself, but you are. If you are, definitely go check them out. All right, let's go back to my mug, and I'll read a little bit about them. All right, some of the lowest prices from this website i seen was $0.68. Cents. Their shipping policy is completely based on your area, so I'm guessing they ship by weight. If you're close to wherever they're located, your shipping is going to be less. All right, they have a large selection of fibers and a good place about a good thing about this place, they have a restock of yarn. They'll always continuously restock their yarn. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Let me scroll up and see if I missed anything cuz sometimes I tend to talk so much and I don't mean to. All right, Kim Keaton says, "What type of yarn can you buy from the Dollar Tree? Is all cotton or is it a variety of types?" The yarn that you can buy from the Dollar Tree is the yarn that the Dollar Tree happens to get. They have no rhyme or reason for the yarn. At one point in time, I believe specifically because they kept restocking 
can you see this just for yarn all the time i'm like oh my goodness the dollar tree finally got their own yarn because what i noticed they always had discontinued yarns or overstock yarns sent to them typically sachet yarn i'm tired of that but that's what they typically have but i kept seeing them restock this but after i posted that uh youtube video of dollar tree has yarn i found out not everybody has that yarn so i started thinking maybe it's because they only stock this yarn in colder states i live further in the north i'm pennsylvania so i'm thinking i'm more likely to have this yarn from somebody in florida but i found out that's not true luckily one of the uh somebody who worked as who works at the dollar tree i wish i remember your name i'm so sorry but if you're watching this live stream thank you for giving me this tip she said there is absolutely no rhyme or reason how dollar tree receives their stock of yarn what they get is what they get who gets it who knows so that's what that so all right we'll keep moving on to the list because we have a lot so next we are going to go over to hobium yarns oh this one i forgot to link down in the description box i once did a, a review of a purse that i bought from hobium you remember it was like going online i wish i would have brought it up it must be upstairs in my bedroom those little purse kits it was like a leather top with a leather bottom and it had holes going across it and you can create your own purse to it i went on their website i almost lost my mind i was like a kid in a candy shop it was like the, they had all the coolest stuff that you can think of let me see if i can pull them up but we're not talking about other stuff we're supposed to be talking about yarn so i'll be good so let me show you some of the yarns that they seen usually when i go to sites i instantly look in their clearance section or i sort by ascending low to high the lowest yarns that I seen on their site was at a dollar twenty seven. <coughs> Ooh, I'm coughing. <coughs> you can't see this, so I'm sipping behind the scenes. The lowest yarn that I seen was like a dollar and twenty seven cent. They had a beautiful selection of yarn, huge stock of fibers from cotton, acrylic, wool, marine, just beautiful. Uh, many of the yarns I've never heard of. Let's see what's in her clearance section clearance fancy pants yarn see i'm super cheap i would probably still would never buy an 18 dollar thing of yarn so when you know you're coming watching this live stream when i say cheap i think in like it got to be like a dollar and something cheap but they have a beautiful selection of items okay what else are we going to look at next all right oh another good one lovecraft yarn i'm going to pull up and show you their page in a second i just recently bought some of the yarn this right here is beautiful if you were one of the lucky ones to find just yarn at your uh dollar uh, tree stores it is quite similar the uh, the way it's spun unfortunately this is red it doesn't show up well on my camera is beautiful i believe this only came to like a dollar 20 something for this big skinny yarn let me tell you to wait because you're probably wondering this is 302 yards of yarn 100 grams of yarn let me show you their website ah there we go i've already sorted from ascending prices look at this look at these prices this is ridiculous and they ship worldwide they take coupons promo codes all right so some of the cheapest yarns that i've seen on our website was at a dollar and 49 cents they're shipping they have free shipping for anything over 60 dollars. their flat rate shipping is only four dollars and 95 cents that whoo, sugar biscuit sorry if i was screaming let me lower my voice okay let me 
turn it back on. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Classy Kim. Classy Kim, I talk about her every single week. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. She's like uh, the crochet glue of the crochet community. She's super awesome. Make sure you click her little circle uh, thumbnail bobblehead or whatever thing right there and go to her page and subscribe to her channel because she's super awesome. Thank you so much. Everybody, raise your cup and cheers to Kim. Anybody who donates get a chair and also gets my eight-year-old running out just to see the balloons pop. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, I see in all the laughs in there. <laughs> yeah, it scared me. Because first, when I was talking, I heard the click of this go off. I'm like, oh, somebody donated. Let me pull up the screen. And then the other stuff started going off. And it, you know, of course, scared the mess out of me. But cheers. Okay, where were we at? <laughs> I'm always laughing at something. Oh, I was talking about their prices. Oh, you don't need to see. My, um, we already looked at everything for that. We were talking about their shipping was only four ninety um, five. They had a great restock of items, so you don't have to worry. Like when you go to uh, the um, Dollar Tree website or when you go to Smiley Yarns, you don't have to worry about buying all the yarn at once because they will have a restock of yarn. So that's the awesome thing about that and the great prices. Look at this yarn, beautiful. Since I bought from them, I can definitely recommend them. Their yarn is beautiful. Let's see where we're looking at now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be all technical behind the scenes as usual. All right, we are on, where are we? Oh, we have another super chat from um Joanne. Jo yes, Joanne. <laughs> she says, keep it up, everybody. Raise your cup and give her a cheers. You get the disco light and the balloons. Oh, and the uh, little eight-year-old, he came out because he heard it. Say hi again. Hello. Hello. He's so cute. Uh, Reggie says, or J-Ho Crochet, don't worry, it happens again. She'll get scared every time. I do get scared every time. I should be more prepared, but sometimes I get so focused into topic, I just, it shocks me back together, well, back to reality. All right, Vicky says, I love you, little Johns. Have to run now, but we'll finish this later. Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining us. All right, and Fun Yard says cheers, and Aquarian says cheers to Joanne. Thank you so much. Oh, who came in late? Jennifer says she came in late. That's all right. We still got a lot to go. All right, next, where are we? We did we crochet. We did this. We're missing one. I didn't pull it up. Yarn Paradise. I wanted to bring up the link for this because this is ice yarns. I've never personally purchased from Ice Yarns. I've had so many people say, you should do it. It's like a love-hate relationship with Ice Yarns. You either love it or you hate it. Me, I've never personally bought for them. So if you did, tell me, what do you, uh, did you enjoy it? Give me your opinion. What is it? I'll tell you about their shipping. Um, they ship worldwide. The shipping is um, calculated based on where your country is and your weight. So... Shipping could be great for you or shipping could be horrible. There's nothing you can do but to find out. All right. Okay. They have a large assortment of yarns and fibers and they have deals, dailies, and closeouts. And they have great mixed lots. But this is a website that I wanted to actually show you. So, oh, wrong, wrong button. <laughs> Here we go. Where are we? Ice yarns. Guys, have you bought from here? This Their prices are like so ridiculously low. 37 cent? How does this work? This is, so if I would one pack of eight for $2.99. All right, how big is this pack? That's a 50 gram ball of yarn. That's not too bad. So you get eight 50 gram, gram balls of yarn. That's 164 yards. 
I've seen um, Bag of Day Crochet do, uh, how do I close? I want to get out of here, close preview. I've seen Bag of Day Crochet do reviews on this. Some of the yarn she said she didn't like and some of the ones she loved. I definitely recommend you review it. Like, what would you do with this? I wouldn't know what to make with those yarns. I need something basic like this. Let's see if we can shop by weight. Where's the weight? I don't want price. I want, are you guys seeing it? Am I scrolling too fast? Needle size, yarn, hit weight. There we go. I love my worsted weight. I see we have another super chat. Let's see who it is. <gasps> Lori Murphy. I actually went to tell a story about Lori Murphy. This is the best live feed. I want to go shopping. <laughs> I don't blame you. Quick story about our friend Lori Murphy. I was, um, because I sell crochet patterns also on my Etsy shop. And I got this uh, purchase from a Lori Murphy. And of course, I love my more Lori Murphy. I've noticed her every single week. She's always attending my live um, streams. I appreciate it so much. But I'm like, Lori Murphy might not be a... Uh, it might be like a name you hear all the time. It, you know, could be, you know, a well-known name. So, since I love my Lori Murphy, she ordered just a pattern, like a pick three. I gave her the complete bundle of all my crochet hat patterns. I'm like, I hope this is my Lori Murphy. If it's not, you're lucky to have her name. But luckily, it was mine. Thank you so much for always supporting me. I appreciate you so much. Okay, Deborah. She says, I have to buy ice yarns because of shipping warning. Maybe we can, maybe we can. I will take the leap and figure it out. And I will take the leap. I, I'm going to take the leap one day too, but I try to tell myself not to buy so much yarn. I got a lot of it. Rhonda says, hallelujah, sister. I caught you for a change during a live and don't have to replay. Well, maybe. I talk for a long time. These lives usually go on forever. If you're joining me here today. Just watch the first hour. You get all the information. After that, it's just us, us bull crapping. <laughs> Deborah says, cheers, and says, queer and queen. Oh, yeah. Did I not cheer you, Lori? Sorry. Cheers, Lori. <laughs> all right. Velma says, Ice Yarn website is awesome. The yarns comes in packs. Check out Secret Yarnery on YouTube. Go to her channel and watch her unboxing of Ice Yarns, and you won't be disappointed. Promise. Secret Yarnery is one of the reasons why I decided to go live. I love her channel and her personality. She reminds me of like um, bubbly champagne, just something sparkly, happy, and full of energy. I absolutely love her. All right, Crafty Kentuckian says, speaking of all the wine and alcohol, I just celebrated three years sober on New Year's Eve. Congratulations. I will not cheers you, but you'll get a double two thumbs up if you have your juice or whatever with you or your coffee you can get a cheers for that one everybody everybody give crafty kentuckian a round of applause <laughs> all right let's hop right back into this so we went over ice yarns we're going to jump to page two. Ooh, oh we're going to talk about hobium yarns all right uh Hobiums is almost, uh, not Hobium, Hobie, 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 H-O-B-B-I-I, Hobie Yarns. To me, them and Hobium are very similar. <laughs> they have a lot of yarns. The yarns are very comparable. One of their lowest yarn rates go for uh, $1.35, and one of their more most expensive yarns can go for $110, but that's for a pack of Dolce Cashmere a bag or called a wonder bag. Mm. All right. So you're probably wondering about their shipping. Oh, wait, let me pause. This one for everybody for, for sobriety. We got Jan MH. She gave you a round of applause. Velma gave you a round of applause. Victoria, everybody is giving you a round of applause for three years sober. I'm proud of you. And so is this whole yarn community. All right. What else we got? And Lori said, congratulations, Crafty Kentuckian. All right. This is another one we're going to go on to. This one, they ship worldwide, but this is, <coughs> excuse me. Sip. If you live in a UK, you are the luckiest person in a whole wide world. I, even though I 
the shipping would be probably too much for me, but if you live in what they say, and oh, oh, we have another super chat. I don't see who it is. The name didn't pop up, but I see the bubbles. Where's the name? Proverbs 31. This is another one of our regulars. Thank you so much for donating. Oh, and we got another eight-year-old coming in. Say hi again. Hello. He should be part of the super chat. Every time uh, the super chat goes off, an eight-year-old pops out. I don't need any of these. I just need my son to just pop out of the corner and say, hello. 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 Bye, Bye sunny boy. <laughs> Everybody, raise your cup and cheers to Proverbs 31 yarn. Oh, where was I? Oh, wage badger. All right. If they say if you live in mainland England, you hit the jackpot. The price of yarn as low as 29 pence. Just, uh, just so you know, if, uh, what is it? Um, pounds to dollars for every pound is a dollar and 30 cents. If I'm talking euros for every euro in American money is a dollar and 13 cents. So you guys do the math inside your head because I'm bad at math, but I know the conversion. <laughs> All right, let me show you this. Um, one I was talking about, look at these prices. Wise Badger. What, what, what is this? 36 cents? Red Heart Yarn. Well, I should say 36 pence. <laughs> Red Heart Yarn, 43. Th these prices are ridiculous. Let me see if I can find the shipping for um, outside of the UK. Because for the UK, let's see. Uh, anything over 15 pounds is free shipping and the rest is three pounds for flat shipping for the UK. Let's see what it is outside. Hold on. These are my notes. Where was I? I can do, 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 do. I have all these saved shipping policy. Yeah, because these prices were super low international so it's basically based off the weight of your package to see if it's worth it you know what the shipping for those prices is not too bad i would actually pay 36 dollars shipping that's not bad oh that's european countries okay i'm what you call the rest of the world <laughs> know what the prices is still good so actually i recommend this for everyone around the world where is my mug? All right. Next, we are going to go over to Hirschner's. But before we do, I talk so much, I need to take another sip. We'll hop back into the chat and see what's going on. Wow, we got 208 people watching right now. That is so amazing. Okay, guys, if you're just getting here, we're talking about where to buy the cheapest yarns. And if you're not writing it down, don't worry. I got all the links. I created a blog post on my website. That is in the link below. But unfortunately, I didn't include like um, the UK, the, not the UK, I include the UK. I didn't include Canada, Australia. Those links will actually be down in the description box below. But on my blog, it's more um, worldwide and American. So, America. We got Tell Me LT. I hear you. I'm coming up on five years clean and sober, and I'm thankful day daily. Everybody, give Tammy a round of applause also. Yay. What else we got here? Velma, Little John, I have a question for you. Have you ever done crochet subscription boxes like Mary Maxim, Bella Coco subscription, etc.? I've been looking at that. I've always, who always pops up in my, uh, feed that does a subscription box i believe i think tl tl crafts does it i think she does a subscription block i forget who it is i've never done one myself i looked into it but i've been trying to go on a yarn diet y'all i'm bad i i've bought some yarn only from the dollar tree for the re a review of the channel, this was for work. This was for YouTube. I didn't buy it for me. This was selfless. But I tr I've been, for the past year, other than that little um, buying there, I've been trying not to buy. So you guys have to let me know if it's good or not. 
But guess what? Somebody's getting a whole bunch of round of applause for your sobriety from Victoria, Jana Mach, and Madison, Patsy Clark, Lori Murphy, Robinson Bliss. Everybody is giving you a round of applause. So congratulations. Ooh, where are we at on our um thing now? We did did we do did we do Hirsch Nurse? Did we talk about that? I don't think we did. Oh, Jay Applebyte says something. She's, hey, thank you for joining us again, Jay Applebyte. No, nobody from outside UK ordered from Wise. Oh, it scrolled up. This is a good tip. I don't want to miss this. Nobody from outside the UK ordered from Wise Bagger. I need all the yarn for myself. I'm broke in London. <laughs> I thought you were warning us not to do something. <laughs> but, oh, you are lucky. Those prices and shipping... 15 pounds, I would, for free shipping, it wouldn't take me nothing just to get to that much. I think in American money, since that'll be 130, that would probably be eight, 20 bucks American dollars. My math is bad. It's worth it. Oh. Hey, Mar Will is in the house. Thumbs up, Alicia. You're making me want to go shopping. I'm sorry. Aquarian Queen. Every Saturday at 2, a little John has a live stream with different topics that are crochet related. I do. <laughs> Pink Froggy Crochet. I want to try Darn Good Yarn. Anybody tried it yet? Darn Good Yarn. Alright, it's time for a little recess break. We are going to go look at Darn Good Yarn. Is that a website? So if it is, we're going to look for it right now. Off Topic. Here we go. We're going to go to Google. Darn good. Darn good yarn. Is that the subscription box I think you're talking about? Maybe I should do a live stream on subscription boxes. Let's see. Ooh, I don't want to win anything. How do? No, no. Reject. Oh, I think that's what it is. Subscriptions. Let's check those out. What are their prices? Ooh, yarn in a month. $20 mystery skirt. What's a mystery skirt? Hmm, socks. More details. See, if I'm going to do a live stream about mystery box, I'm going to, I'm not mystery box, subscription boxes, I'm probably going to have to subscribe to one instead of just doing researches so I can give you a good opinion. These are pretty cool. How much yarn do you get? Is it just one skein? A skein of premium, premium friendly yarn. I don't like one skeins of yarn personally. But I would love to find out. There's nothing better than getting like yarn in the mail and getting to find out new textures and new things. I'm the type of person who will get it and sniff it and feel it and rub it across my face. But I've realized a lot of people do that too. I was watching Bag of Day Crochet. She was doing an unboxing of yarn. And I start noticing her rubbing the yarn on her face just like I do. <laughs> oh, I have to drop down. I dropped all of my papers, my notes. Look, I labeled them. So this is page one. I did page one. Lovecraft. Page two. Page three. We did that. Hirschner's. I keep saying that. Do we do Hirschner's? I don't know. I've been drinking for the past 42 minutes. So we're going to hop right into that. Hirschner's, I don't know if this is one from the comments. I believe this is comments. I didn't catch your name, but I'm going to read this one off. Sometimes they have great sales. You can get 10 skeins of yarn at a time for nearly nothing. They also awesome, awesome, they also offer awesome crochet kits that come with patterns and all the yarn you need to complete a project. Although it's mostly Afghans. If you're in the Amagurumi, you guys check that out first try. They have 16 ounces or plus bags of mills in yarn or random assortments. The lowest prices that I've seen on this website was as low as 99 cents. Um, the shipping policy is based on costs. Okay, from the notes I have, the really short notes. I guess the shipping policy was really strange, but like I said, I have a link for all that so you can just click on a link on my blog and immediately see their shipping, shipping policy and don't have to jump around their website. And they had basically had all of your favorite yarns that you see in stores like Lion Brand, Red Heart, all those type of yarns. So they're very popular there. All right. 
Another one I found that was, I'm gonna bring up the link for this one, was comparable to my long lost DBNY, rest in peace, we miss you all. I found this through Google search. This called shopgiftworthy.com. Uh, all right, the prices were super dirt cheap. All right, they have free shipping for anything over $50. Um, this is international. If you're inter outside of the US, you have to contact them for specific shipping, but I'm guessing it's based off weight. Let's see. And they have a lot of meals in yarn. So let's check them out. Where are we at? There we go. This one was kind of hard to navigate is weird. All right, so check this out. What is this one? Homespun yarn. Look at this, three skeins for $8.96. I believe homespun yarn also goes for $4.99. Let's go see some more mills in yarn. I always love some Caron Simply Soft. I used to hate Caron Simply Soft. It does split, it gets annoying. <laughs> but somehow I fell in love with the texture and the feel of it. Look at this. Three skeins, $7.16. Caron Simply Soft goes for $3.99. But this is one of those places, if you see it, you buy it because it's not guaranteed to be restocked. What other yarns? I only checked their mills in yarn. What is retail yarns? All right, and we all love our red heart. Well, not everybody. If you're a cheapie, you love your red heart. If not, okay, that's not very comparable. Uh, so I suggest just looking into the mills in yarn for this one. Bring my mug back up. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Have any of you ever heard of Shop Giftworthy? I found this through... Uh, just googling and searching actually nobody gave me this tip for this one i just had to come across this by accident so if you shop there let me know okay let's see velma lee i urge everyone to try them oh i wonder which one you were talking about velma lee i guess if you guys were reading the chat you know exactly what velma's talking about sheila says another one that i was not disappointed was hershner's i haven't shopped there but i've heard a lot of things about hershner's especially when they have good sales darla patricia you hit the x and it will take you to where you can like it then hit the oh, it scrolled on me i forget what she just said but it scrolled on me Lori murphy i get annoyed with simply soft but it sure is pretty when done you know what Karen simply soft is so annoying if you're working with a boy hook which is a rounder hook like this Karen simply soft will ruin your day if you're working with more of a susan bates hook i like to call this like my little snatching hook it'll pick up every single stitch no matter what you're less like <laughs> Left this right up, and you get the eight year old. Say hi. <laughs> Left this right crochet with Sandy. Hey, darling, thanks for all the savings you are showing us. Love you, Chica. Everybody, raise your cups and cheers the left. Um, left this right crochet with Sandy. Sandy has a YouTube channel. Make sure you check her out. She is hilarious. She just have great talks about crochet and things going on in the crochet community so look to her click her little circle icon subscribe then come right back to this live stream okay don't miss me out don't miss me or forget about me you know what i'm talking about <laughs> all right we got a lot of chairs for you sandy thank you so much i always get sidetracked what are we talking about Jacqueline says, just wanted to say hello. I enjoy your tutorial tutorials. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much. Proverbs 31. Hey, little drawn yarns. Have you been to Carner's Yarn Shop and PA Net? Cra Cr I think you're saying Kramer's. Are you saying Kramer's Yarn Shop in um, Nazareth? Correct. I'm going to try to not miss you. If you're saying Kramer's, I've used Kramer's Yarn. I actually did a review on them when I first began YouTube. I reached out, cause you know, I try to make money um, uh, doing this crochet thing. 
that's what I forgot. I didn't take great notes for this. Usually before my live stream start, at the end of every month, I tell you my um, yarn income, what I made for the month, and my sponsorships, but I forgot to do that. But I'm going to do all that. If you want to be a crochet entrepreneur or make money doing this yarn thing, stay tuned to the very end of this, and I'll teach you how to make money crocheting. It can be done. But they were one of my very first sponsors, and I was so thankful. Their yarn is beautiful. I've used it all up. I had a couple tutorial of those. But if you search in my videos and go from sort by date, then scroll all the way down to one of my older ones. They don't got many views. Check them out. They are an awesome yarn company. Up uh, Proverbs 31 said, yes, that's it. Yeah, they're awesome. I've never been there, but I've ordered from them. Gloria Jordan says, love Hirschners. Just got a shipment. Love all the yarn. Trying not to order. I have so much already. Unfortunately, you're you're preaching to the choir. You, we're not gonna feel, we're not gonna tell you, say, hey girl, don't buy no more yarn. We're gonna say, ooh, what color did you get? What you get? What what fiber did you buy? Did you get wool? Did you get acrylic? Did you get that cotton? What you get? We're always wondering. <laughs> Velma says, Gloria, me too. I can't help myself. Crafty Kentuckian at Little John Yarns. I commented earlier, but I think you missed it. I'm starting a new adventure. I am making crochet bags. I did miss it. And everybody, if I miss your comment, please don't feel bad if you repeat the same thing. My comment section can only hold 12 comments at a time. So once them 12 is gone, I'll never see it again. So just say it okay. Again, it's okay. And make sure like she did, she put at. That sticks out when you put the at Little John Yarns too, or you can donate through Super Chat, and I'll definitely see your um, question. But back to Crafty Kentuckian, congratulations. Now that you're starting your own crochet adventure, the thing is, don't expect business to come to you. Make sure you market yourself. Thank God it's 2020. You can market yourself in so many ways. Make sure you don't advertise on Etsy. Don't pay for any type of advertisement. Just market yourself on Facebook. Market yourself on Etsy. Get on um, all type of selling ads and just post every single day. <laughs> okay. Aquarian Queen says, my room is a yarn yard. Yeah, me too. All right, where were we at on here? We just finished Shop Gift Worthy. All right, I believe we are down to the, uh, what should I call these? Uh, honorable mentions. That's what I'm looking at. Hmm. Let's see where I am. Forgive me while I'm scrolling around to see my little things. We have Hirschner's. There we go. This is from Epic Space Dorito. I love Wool Warehouse. It is the cheapest I've been able to find so far, considering I live in the UK. All right. Uh, they ship actually worldwide, but definitely if you live in the UK, check them out. One of the lowest prices that I've seen on their website was uh, 59 pence. Um, uh, but in American money, what would that be? We are, I think I'll be like 70 something cents, but regardless, it's under a dollar, it's super cheap. All right, shipping in the UK would be uh, almost three pounds, over 25 would be free. International shipping is based on weight. Definitely go check them out. And one of the last places, let's see. This is from J Hook Trochet. This is. Tahiti, I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher this. Um, Tahiti's Mexicas is an online store which sells yarn in discounted prices, mainly European brands, but not only, and it ships worldwide. I looked at this site. It's beautiful. I hope I brought up the link before I hop behind. Let's see, did I bring up? I didn't bring up the link for this one. Okay, I'm not going to show you this one. But they had such beautiful yarn and the shipping was super cheap. One of the lowest yarn prices I've seen on their website was a dollar for American prices. That would be a um, dollar and 13 cents. Super cheap. So their shipping to America was 
29 euros in American dollars, that would be $32. Uh, for the rest of the world, it was a lot cheaper. For American, it was more, oh, let me, my face is completely blocked. There we go. <laughs> for the rest of the world, it was a lot cheaper outside the Americas. It was between uh, six to 17 euros. So a lot cheaper in the European countries. All right, Virgie Page, wool, <clears throat> wool Warehouse is great. They had a yarn that Demoris was sold out of. I tried them when Demoris lost my order. Wool Warehouse is great. Ooh, what happened after, did they ever um, return your money after this? Let us know. Velma Lee, my brother told me that I didn't need to buy any more yarn. Clutch my pearls. I told him I'd buy yarn to keep sanity, not to choke somebody. Darn straight. <laughs> choke my pearls <laughs> all right aquarium queen alicia it means the magic scissors oh thank you so much magic scissors that's pretty cool did i pronounce it right uh lost to hit wait I, I i just butcher stuff i'm not even gonna try it again they have some of the um best european brands you know what we have to pull this up let's look at it do 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 display but i always cut off the wrong one let's see so i don't have to spell it this is these my um butchered up notes that i have behind let's see oh i don't gotta do that look stop it stop it there we go <laughs> let's check out their website all right let's look at the yarns we all love the yarns and you know what i like to sort by low to high look at some of these yarns beautiful but one of the greatest tips always look in their oh they don't have a, a discount section? Where is their discount section? Oh no, do they not have one? Mm hmm. But beautiful yarns, definitely go check them out. Where is my face? All right, now we did most of the online stores. Now we're gonna talk about some stores, how to get yarn cheap outside of uh, stores, maybe online, within Facebook, all of those, and some of your local stores. It's time to fill up. While I'm filling up, we have 218 viewers right now. If you're enjoying this live stream on where to find all these super cheap yarns, don't worry, this will be on replay. Like I said before, I have all these links in a blog post I've created, it's down below. And also, since I did all this, you can help <laughs> donate through Super Chat. You can help support this channel. When you do, one of my thingies will go off in the background. Let it be disco lights, bubbles, or my balloon. And it's all set up eep, through my phone where I'm able to press buttons and things go off. I'm starting to feel tipsy already. I hope I'm not the only one. Okay, time to fill up. And now I'm starting to overthink myself. If I'm triggering to anybody who's also in recovery right now, I'm very sorry. Make sure you log off. I don't want to be triggering to anybody. Okay. Let's see what's going on in the comments. Sheila King, thank you. I'm glad to be here. This is the perfect check for me as I am on a fixed income but love my craft. People are always amazed by how much yarn I have. They're like, why do you spend so much money on yarn? I don't. Originally, when I began stockpiling yarn is because I was doing custom orders through crochet. When you custom order, you, let's say somebody wants a red hat. You're not going to use a whole scanty yarn for a red hat. And I would have leftover yarn left over. That's how I began a lot of my yarn. And after that, I start searching on like Facebook and other places and all these great places to find these deals and accumulated them. When I got yarn, I didn't just get a skein of yarn. The deals were so good, I got like 25, 50, or 100 skeins of yarns. The deals were so good. Velma Lee, I have a question to everyone. Has anyone bought 
anybody bought yarn from Facebook Marketplace? That was on the list, girl. So we're just going to jump ahead. Yes. About two years ago, I was creating all these patterns using um, Caron Simply Soft. People are like, are you like um, endorsed or sponsored by Caron Simply Soft? Why are all these patterns you're making by Caron Simply Soft? The reason was because on uh, Facebook Marketplace, I seen somebody selling a garbage bag full of Caron Simply Soft for like a dollar. Or it was like two garbage. I said it wrong. I've been drinking. Uh, not a dollar, a hundred dollars. It was two bags. She told me it's one, but I ended up with two garbage bags full of Caron Simply Soft. It had to be almost 200 skeins. Uh, had to be. I had so much of it. I, before <laughs> using this yarn, I hated Caron Simply Soft, but the deal was so great. I instantly, not instantly, I trained myself to fall in love with it. So, Facebook Marketplace, great place to find yarn because many of the people who are selling on Facebook Marketplace are selling because they're, somebody in their family passed away and their grandma had all these leftover yarn or they're moving. They don't know how much their yarn actually costs. They just want to get rid of this yarn. So great people like us are like, oh, yes. <laughs> so always keep, you can actually put a notification so if it pops up in the Marketplace for it to show up in your, um, little Facebook notifications, but definitely Facebook Marketplace. All right. F, uh, Jolliffe, oh, it scrolled up on me. Where are you at? I lost you. I was just about to read your thing. It's gone. Okay, I'm going to have to skip you. I thought I seen you. All right, the crazy poppy lady. I just... Hi, just getting through the video. Please don't leave till I get there. All right, J-Hook Crochet. Alicia, I discovered some new websites today. Thank you. Must hop off now. Good night. Everybody is super late in Germany. Sweet dreams, Reggie. Thank you so much for always helping me on these live streams. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. I appreciate it so much. Everybody, cheers to Reggie. All right, let's see. Divine with Diva says shipping is too high for me. It's probably the last place we were talking about. The Crazy Poppy Lady says, I bought from Facebook Marketplace. Definitely recommend it. Uh, J Apple, whoever recommended Knitting Network, thank you. Oh, I found you. F Jolliffe. Jolliffe? I think I said that right. Goodwill and the like Goodwill and the likes have yarn sometimes. It's usually donated after passing of someone love someone's loved one or accidents that prevent people from doing their craft. I've note up, uh, these were probably, let's see. A lot of people recommended these. Let's see, up, oh, here we go. This was also recommended from a thrift store from, I can't pronounce, Lane Mew, Lane Must Exit. <laughs> I'm going to second the idea of thrift store. Some Goodwill stores and Value Village Savers locations have a big selection of yarn for cheap. They will also bag multiple skeins together sometimes, and there can be some really nice yarns too. It really just comes down to your area. I've noticed that too, like when I go into um, Goodwills, just so they can get rid of some of their yarn, I will see them put them in a big, huge, clear bag, like a big bag like this, and only charge $5 of it. That is a super great deal, and I definitely recommend going to the Dollar Tree. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Hmm. Sanja, yes, the best deal ever. Got a basket of my... Got a back seat of my truck full. Hmm, I wonder where you shopping at. Uh, Mary, I have logged on to mainly see this section. I have not had a positive experience with online shopping. I personally, I definitely recommend going. I didn't put this on the list. I'm surprised I didn't. I definitely, dollartree.com. You can buy their yarn in bulk and cheap. You just can't get a yarn, a skein of yarn. Whatever, if you have a big project like a blanket, definitely go there. I recommend Hobium, but only if you have a big order. They have so much stuff you can get lost in. And people were um, recommending Smiley's as a hip, hidden gem. And what was the other new one I was talking about? Shop Giftworthy. 
they had all the mills in yarn. Bonnie said, have you visited Dill Genie, Dill, uh, Dill Genius? Yes, I actually took everybody, that was a little bit earlier in the live stream, I took everybody to that website. Their prices were super cheap. If you're just getting here, Dill Genius, let's see, one of their um, cheapest for a pack of, what was Red Heart with Love for three skeins, $7 for three skeins. Red Heart with Love usually just for one skein, goes for $5.99, and you can get three for $7, and Dill Genius shipping was $29 uh, for, uh, $29, if you spend that much, you get free shipping, $5 flat shipping. All right, let's see what else is going on. Uh -oh. Mary Ford, I haven't bought online yet. I'm worried about getting different batches. My last project, I didn't pay attention and the colors were off. How can you be assured that the color batches match? They claim you can ask questions, look in their FAQs. Like They usually say they'll try to ship in the same batch, but you're not guaranteed. Luckily, I've never had that happen to me, but apparently it happens to people. So I can't give you any good tips on how to guarantee to get it right. Let's see. Gloria Jordan says Hershner's is always great. Left this right crochet with Sandy. Okay, wait. We haven't done cheers in a while. <laughs> Let's give our hosts a thumbs up while we lift up our cups and say cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much, Sandy. I appreciate it. Hmm. Crafty Kentuckian. Okay, Alicia, I think it's time to stop drinking. <laughs> you guys forgive me, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Sunflower Sue, go to the store of Dollar Tree. Some stores have yarn on hand. Yes, Dollar Tree, not all, but some of the Dollar Trees have great yarn on hand because they have a lot of the discontinued ones. All right, in our last page, I think I dropped. There we go. We have, let's see. Here we go from Tracy T. Some of AC Moore stores are going out of business, so all the yarn is cheap. I keep hearing this left and right about AC Moore's going out of business. I believe Michaels are buying them all out. From <clears throat> what I hear, a lot of the um, stores are getting bare shelved. I don't have any AC Moors near me in Pennsylvania. I just wish I can get in on all the fun. But mm, unfortunately, I can't. But if you have one, make sure you run to it until it's all gone. What else we got up in here? All right, we have from Chloe. Always check the clearance section in Joann's. A lot of the yarn there may have been returned and it's still good and you can get it for half the price. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Joanne. Not Joanne, uh, thank you, Chloe. <laughs> as often as I've been to Joann's, why have I never checked the clearance section? I've never thought about it. This is like, kindergarten yarn junkie uh, signs right here and I've never done it so everybody make sure you check the clearance section I never thought about getting the returned items genius okay Deborah you all you all are fantastic thank you for coming to watch and join us in this fun information yes thank you everybody for joining me uh Dietra did I pronounce that right all AC Moores in, in Ohio are closing Ooh, you're in Ohio that's just a state over. Is there any more good yarn left? Let's see. Sunflower Sue. Oh, no. Not discontinued yarn at Dollar Tree brand. Just called Just Yarn. Just Yarn. This isn't discontinued. The funny thing about Just Yarn, I looked on, it's made by Premier. I looked on Premier's website. It's like they don't make it there. I only see it in Dollar Tree, which is weird. Oh, Jennifer, uh, she said something about Oli's. Let's pull that up. I did have that. I thought I typed this one in there. I don't see it. Where's all my notes? Ollie's, I should say. Well, Ollie's, luckily, this one is also in Pennsylvania, uh, in the United States. I don't, sorry if you're outside of the United States, but this is like one of those 
weird big box stores that has a lot of discontinued stuff from everywhere like weird stuff from as seen on tvs books kids toys home and garden it's like an all four store of overstock stuff but in the very back of their store they have an awesome selection of yarn if you have one definitely check it out all right from Dragon of the World, Mainstay is a brand in Walmart, and it is low as $197. As often as I go to Walmart, I have not tried Mainstay. What do you guys think of it? What yarn is comparable? What does it feel like? Does it feel like a Caron Simply Soft? Does it feel like a Loops and Thread? Does it feel like a Vanish Choice? What does a Mainstay feel like? F. Jolif says, just yarn can't be found. Oops. For some re reason, your name keeps getting scrolled up while I'm trying to read yours. Just yarn can't be found on Dollar Tree's website yet. So it's like we can't find just yarn on Premiere and you can't find it on Dollar Tree. Luckily, they keep restocking it since November in my Dollar Tree. So I'm thankful for that one. Dietra, yes, uh, you pronounced it correctly. I butcher names usually. Okay, Daryl. Joanne also has an app where you will have, Joanne also has an app where they will have yarn for twenty five or forty percent off, and etc. Okay. Once, thank you so much for that. That is an awesome tip. Once upon a time, I used to be the biggest uh, couponer. If you ever watch those uh, coupon shows where people will open up the book of like cards of coupons. That used to be me until I had my last child when it's been eight years ago. But after I had him, I just couldn't coordinate with the couponing. But I still managed to coupon with Joann's. The best thing about Joann Fabrics, they take competitors' coupons. So you can take Hobby Lobby's coupons to Joann's. You can take Michael's coupons to Joann's. You can take all those over to because Michael's and the Hobby Lobby always have like a 45, 40% off or 25% off. And also, make sure you sign up for Joanne Fabrics mail-in coupons, online coupons, like, and on your app coupons. Because each one has a different barcode. They don't stack, but you can use them all. So when I walk in there, they, they hate me there. Because I'm walking in like, I got cash money. I got a spread of coupons ready to lay down and murder. <laughs> on all this yarn so definitely learn how to yarn coupon definitely worth it let's see what else is going in here uh teresa says right now joann's is having free shipping on any dollar amount online thanks for the tip velma question about dollar Gen genius can the yarn be ordered online or does it have to be done through customer service i don't know where's my notes I think the deal genius for the American, it can be done online, but out of state. Or is that another one? Deal genius office, four to seven day shipping in the United States. I don't know. You might have to go check that out on the shipping on your own. But like I said, check down on my blog. Just scroll down to deal genius and find the shipping policy. And it will let you know everything from there. Okay. Sherry, my Dollar Tree. I'm in San Diego. I got 5.3 ounces of Bernie blank Blanket yarn for a dollar. Of course, I bought 16 skeins. That's another reason why I also have a lot of yarn. Let's say the Dollar Tree ends up with a deal like that. This deal, I got, I haven't made any tutorials with him yet. I haven't thought of a pattern. But all this fettuccine yarn, I got so much fettuccine yarn because a couple years ago, I just a whole bunch showed up at my Dollar Tree. And of course, I'm walking out of the Dollar Tree with like 18 skeins of yarn. <laughs> oh, Dawn um, says, Joann's has a senior discount too. Listen, that's another stack on there. Make sure you save all of your money. <laughs> Let's see. Aquarian Queen. FYI, Mainstay Yarn is not available for shipping inland from Walmart. It can only be purchased in stores. I didn't know that. Thank you for the tip. 
Sunflower Sue, we have so much power as consumers at Walmart. I, I told me that we had internet communities. Uh, I see re yarn. We're something yarn, and we weren't happy about yarn. He promised to get more yarn. We do have all that power. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, where else are we on on our list? Scroll down. Here we go, Vicki Robinson. Aldi yarn is cheap but excellent quality. It's it's all I buy as I'm not so well off. You are lucky, Vicki, to have yarn in your Aldi's. I don't have any yarn in my Aldi's. And my oh, if you're not from the United States or you don't have it in your area, Aldi's is like a grocery store. And within the grocery store, it has a weird like section of, of random crap of stuff but my random crap section doesn't carry any yarn so you're definitely lucky to have that if you got it make sure you go check it out Lori Murphy do you know what age for discounts at Joann's I don't know what age for discounts somebody let her know okay this may be another American store I'm not sure but this one was recommended by Mar Will Big Lots also has um a dollar yard and offers up uh, my glasses just aren't working and offer up some goodwill sales yarn also. So she's saying go to Big Lot, try out goodwill. But yes, Big Lots is similar to the Oli's type store where it just has a lot of stuff. They have a nice little yarn section, which is pretty awesome. Ooh, sit break. As usual, I don't mean to self-promote or anything like this, but I always appreciate it. You can always help support my channel by donating through Super Chat. It helps me continue to make videos like this and research because I've been researching all week on trying to find all these great places to buy yarn. But you can donate through Super Chat. And when you do, one of my cool little gadgets will go off in the background. Okay, Proverbs 31 says you can use a military di military discount. Hmm, good tip. Also at Joanne Fabrics, I think at Michael's, you can use, if you are a teacher, you get a teacher's discount also. All right, we did the thrift. And now this is a store I do not have. I have got cheap yarn from Tuesday morning. Where is Tuesday mornings located regionally in the United States? I have never heard of them before. And what is this store like? So if you have one of those near you, definitely go check it out. Oh, Queer and Queen is telling me, thank you and welcome to everyone to Little John Yard's Saturday live stream. That's me. <laughs> oh, Jay Applebite. Good night, everyone. This chat has been the highlight of my week. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Everybody give Jabba Bite a cheers. Uh, Deborah says 55 Joanne Fabrics. That's for the age for uh, the discount. That's pretty young, but you know what? Check it, take it. <laughs> Velma says, thank you, Deborah. At first, I thought all of my moderators had like a rhyming nickname. Um, remember, Deborah, I sent you an email like, are you like to be called Deborah or Debbie? Because I had, for my moderators, I have Reggie, Letty, I thought it was Debbie, but it's Deborah. So they all don't rhyme. Okay. Classy Kim's, a lot of Tuesday mornings are closing. Oh, that's, maybe you got to make sure you stock up on yarn. Sanja says, we have a one in Tennessee. Didn't know they had yarn. Uh, Proverbs says they're in PA in um, Wilkesbury. Well, I'm I'm probably am I three hours from there? I believe I'm about three hours from there. Mary, I'm in GA, and of the five Dollar Trees, I checked very store sizes and populations. Only two had yarn. There was one color in each store. From what I'm hearing, the way Dollar Tree stocks their yarn is random. Willy nilly, I thought it was based on maybe because Pennsylvania is colder than it would be in Georgia, but actually there is no rhyme or reason to how they do it, which stinks. Crafty Kentuckian, by this time next week, I will hopefully know if I'll be having surgery that I'm needing. I'll update y'all Saturday. 
if I miss what you're talking about, what are you having surgery on? And everybody, prayers up. I wish you the best of luck. And I hope to see you recovering well from your surgery. Sue, there's a Tuesday morning near Swickley, PA. I'm not too far from Swickley, PA. Huh. No, wait. Swickley, I'm Swickley Township. Where's Swickley, PA? I think it's a little far from me. Let's see. The Crafty Nomad. We have Tuesday morning on the West Coast. Okay. I definitely have to check that out. All right. I think now we are getting into some tips. This one is from Bree. I've actually went as far as to create a notebook page where I have all the normal prices for all the yarn I use at every store I purchase from. So I always have a quick reference of where to go buy yarn. If it's not on sale, somewhere else, the cheapest, and the list includes online prices. That's a smart idea because... I'm not, some of the yarns, the cheap, I don't know fancy yarn prices, but some of the uh, basic yarns like Lion Brands, Barnett's, uh, Red Hearts, uh, Premier's, I got those prices memorized in my head, but some people don't. It's nice to have a go-to list of um, all that information. So, but luckily you guys don't have to do that because guess what I did? I made a blog post. So in the link below, make sure you say what's your Pinterest you can always know exactly where to go to get cheap yarn. Save that blog post. Nobody wants to watch an hour uh, live stream after the fact, but you can look at that blog post later. All right, let's go to tip number two. Up oh, there it is. Oh, after this tip, just um, I'm almost done with all of these uh, cheap places to get yarn. If you have any uh, questions related to uh, crocheting or being a YouTuber or starting a crochet business or whatever, th whatever question you have related to yarn, start thinking about it now because I'm almost done with this and it's going to be time for a little bit of chit chat. All right. This is from Valletta. The drawbacks about some of these discount site sites is the shipping. You may pay $2 per skein, but $30 in shipping. For, it, for U.S. shipping, the best I found was Ice and Hirschner's. Hobium, Smiley's, and Oz were next with shipping rates. And uh, Las Tierras, well, the uh, Mexicos, was the most. All had good prices. Okay. Tip number two. This one's from Jeannie. One of the channels I subscribe to here mentioned a great idea to help uh, make yarn cheaper. Get several people who live close. Each of you place your yarn order. Many times you can get free shipping if your yarn, um, your order's over $100 or $150. You know what? This is great because most of the places I mentioned, your yarn orders only have to be like over $30 at the most. So that's a great tip. For me, unfortunately, I'm the only yarn junkie I know. I actually just turned one of my coworkers into hopefully a new yarn junkie. We've been working get together for the past uh, two years. But for the first time, I don't know how it happened. She sat next to me. She's always watched my YouTube um, stuff, supported me in my YouTube career, but never crocheted. One day I was like, hey, you want to learn how to crochet? And she picked it up quick, super quick. I was so amazed. And within a week, actually within like a couple days, she was sending me pictures of her daughter in headbands. I'm definitely going to give her a shout out in my Facebook group and I hope, I'm going to have to make sure she's okay with it first, but I was so shocked. I forget where I was going with that. I don't know. But the tip, oh, <laughs> I'm joining together and get a group of you to um, buy yarn together so shipping won't be so expensive. But I was saying she's the only person I know that likes yarn. Proverbs 31. I went to the Lion Brand outlet and it was okay. Just PK. Oh, she said just okay. Uh, F. Jalif. Jute can be found at most hardwares or yarn shops. <gasps> Dollar Tree. Check this out. These, I love jute. I don't, personally, I love the way jute looks crocheted. I don't like crochet because it kind of hurts my hand, but the look is beautiful. And you can get this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And you get how much? It doesn't tell you how much you get. Three. Yes, it does. Uh, you'll get 256 feet. That's a lot. 
Crafty Kentuckian at Little John Yarns. It is actually a personal thing, and I don't know if I'll even get to have it. I find out on Friday morning. If y'all want to pray for me by name, my name is Bobby. Bobby, we praying for you by name. <laughs> I'm sending some good vibes out to the universe and hope you're okay. Everything's going to be fine. So, fingers crossed for you. Eve, I currently, I'm currently teaching my seven-year-old granddaughter how to crochet. She's loving it. I, I wish I was able to teach my kids how to crochet. So, I'm hoping it skips a generation. So, my future grandchild, I'll be able to teach how to crochet. My grandmother taught me how to crochet at the age of seven. And now that it's been uh, 32, 33 years, I'm still loving it. And every time I pick up that hook, I think of her, which is like, this is a wonderful thing. Random, I'm getting off topic for a second. I like to think a little bit trippy. My grandmother learned how to crochet in 1950 something. I always thought she had this talent that it was passed on from her mother and so forth. But no, that's not what happened. When she was a nurse in the 1950s, one of her patients were sick and one of her patients taught her how to crochet. And I was thinking, I'm like, wow, my grandma never asked on one of her patients to probably long gone <laughs> how to crochet. I would not be where I am today, which is so super awesome. So we're trippy. We got Deborah. she says, best wishes, Bobby. Anonymous Amy, I learned to crochet from YouTube. I'm totally addicted. I've learned how to cro cro YouTube took me to a different level, I must say. I've known how to crochet since the age of seven. I would just freestyle stuff. I never found patterns. But YouTube taught me, let's say I forget how to do a foundation double crochet. I do that. Let's say I want to learn a new quick stitch pattern, like, and I can look to YouTube. YouTube took me to another level. I always say you are an expert crocheter if you know the four basic stitches. You just need a good pattern to get you somewhere. Make sense? Um, F. Jolif, I could never crochet until about three or four years ago. Then it just clicked, and now I can't stop. I get amazed by people who learn how to crochet as adults. That's super awesome. Mary Lou, Auntie Loopy, my kids were not interested in learning crochet until their 30s, so they learned. Maybe I have hope yet. My daughter is 19 years old. Maybe she'll want to crochet one day. She just likes when I uh, crochet her hat. She told me now, because she's in college, she's like, uh, my friends tell me my crochet hats are her thing. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, I'm always wearing crochet hats, and people are like, oh, that's you. And I guess every once in a while, like somebody who crochets runs up to her and say, hey, did you crochet that? And she's like, whoa, 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 no. That's that's my mom's thing. <laughs> okay, Crisscross Craft says, YouTube took me from enthusiast beginner to an intermediate cruise share. Know what? You, most people are intermediate. They just don't know it. They just need to find that pattern. Sometimes reading a pattern is not for everybody, but following along, watching somebody do the stitch is just so much better. Oh, fun yarns with MC at Alicia. That's me. Have you ever ordered yarns from Wish? I've ordered a few um, for free and had um, just pay shipping. They're good quality, but take a while for delivery. Yes, I have. Uh, have. I'm trying to look for my... Uh, yarn from wish i did it oh, 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 no that's not it bananas i did a review on some wish yarn at first i thought like oh my goodness these skeins are so little the i would say the skeins of ice that i wish yarn was about this big i'm like oh they're so little but they were 50 grams of yarn Actually, I should compare it just to this right here. This is exactly what it looks like. This is a Dollar Tree. But it was super cheap. Like she said, all you had to pay is shipping. And for the price, definitely worth it. But please look at the reviews. When you see the uh, yarn that has the buy big jumbo yarn and you see that woman holding that big ball of jumbo yarn and you click it to order it, that is not what you're going to get. I wish I had this all near me 
don't buy the jumbo yarn from there because it is not worth it but there is another jumbo yarn oh i don't think i did a review on this this one i got from wish if you buy the jumbo yarn made from tube it made from a tube it's like a sleeve of material stuffed with stuffing does that make sense it's not like a twisted yarn material i would definitely recommend this buying one ski no to make a blanket you would need a whole bunch of these i was going to do maybe a tutorial on this making like a pillow by orm hand crocheting or something like that what do you guys think Velma Lee, I saw the review you did on Wish. I was rolling. Yeah, I did <laughs> that review. I was so mad. Most of the stuff I uh, got on Wish, I should have uh, read description a lot better, but I didn't. And people were like, you should have knew for a quarter of a, a ounce of yarn, you was going to get a little bit. I'm like, listen, I'm American. We can't do math correctly. <laughs> you know what I mean I wasn't like and it was so small but this one now I do do math correctly I look at ounces grams inches centimeters meters I'm just not stuck on imperial math anymore we shouldn't be <laughs> let's see Deborah I was going to order um, from wish two weeks ago but chickened out and went to my standby Deborah, make sure you check out my wish, review, wish reviews. There are some good things on Wish I definitely recommend. Luckily for you guys, I got a lot of my review items that I did from my uh, tutorials. I'm trying to see some of the things that I got from Wish over here. Stuff like, uh, it's hard to see, but how you can size your crochet hooks. What else? I believe I got this one from Wish, sizing your crochet hooks. Definitely recommended the finger yarn counter. Wish. Super cheap. What else? I have not done a review on this one yet. But this is just another yarn counter. I, my color on my camera does not do any of this justice. This looks like a pale pink, but it's really like a hot pink. Let's test this out now. We're doing a review live. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. This might have to be looked at in detail, but it's pretty cool. If any of you used this before, you know how it works. But Wish, be careful. Don't buy anything, any clothes from Wish because Asian sizes are definitely um, bigger than, uh, smaller than American sizes. American sizes, we like to um, vanity size a lot of our clothes. And so therefore, if you buy like a small or medium or large, let's say a large <laughs> and American size would be like a 3X and an Asian size. So don't buy clothes if they won't fit your size appropriately. <laughs> I remember one time I bought this cute little, I don't got the body anymore, but I had the body then. It was like one of them bodycon dresses. The hips were where my uh, waist would be. So I had a bump on my hips and then my bump on my waist because <laughs> it's shaped that way. And then my hips. Is I'm 5'7". So I'm extremely, not extremely tall. I'm tall. Um, oh, F. Jalif says, oh, those yarn counters work wonderfully. I lost mine. Then make sure you got one like this that goes around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't lose it. So I feel like a yarn athlete. Velma, question. Have you ever bought yarn from eBay? I have, and I do. I always filter everything because I never pay for shipping. Darn straight. Oh, I can't put this, oh, can't put this together. That's a great idea. Check everywhere for yarn. Some, how I came up with this list was simple. I basically went on Google. Actually, let me show you how I came up with this list. Most of them, other than the ones that you guys helped me with. Display. We are going to go to Google. Yarn. Shopping. 
sort low this is how I started to come up with some of these websites yes we all know about the AliExpress and Wish they're kind of basically the same thing they're like a lot of people use this for drop shipping but I was looking for places outside like hmm this like struck me like what is all this wonderful yarn right here why is it so cheap let's check it out are we getting all this yarn or it's just one skein of yarn it's a case pack uh oh okay it's not a, it's <laughs> not all this yarn so 185 per piece but for the whole case 185 but you basically get how i was shopping for yarn another great tip to go let's see let's see a yarn store back to yarn oh i just wanted to go to google let's do lion brand i can't type y'all always check their clearance section <laughs> lion brand is i believe every so many months they will have a dollar sale where all their yarn is only not all the yarn some of the yarn is a dollar let's go by price because you know that's what i like is this am i pricing the right way nope that's the fancy yarn go down I appreciate you guys always being patient with me. Let's see what they got. Ooh, okay. Pack of three. What's their deals today? You're not telling me how much it costs. I want a pack of three. <laughs> but you basically get the point. Just go online. Look around. Shop lowest. Look for their clearance. You'll always find some cheap yarn. Lori Murphy, I am four foot 11 inches and I have to watch patterns to make sure things are not too big. That's why my patterns, that's why I, that's why I like to pattern, patterns that I can modify. Ooh, I don't know why I couldn't say that. You're tiny. For some reason, I didn't picture you being so tiny, Lori. <laughs> Anonymous Amy, I get a lot of yarn from Goodwill and secondhand store. The problem is I like to clean the yarn. Another thing I didn't do a review on yet, but this is from the Dollar Tree. If you guys have a Dollar Tree, this was a something you're supposed to clean your bras in. But it fits perfectly for yarn. That stash of yarn that I told you I got um, Care On Simply Soft, two garbage bags full for super cheap, smelled like cigarettes. I don't smoke cigarettes, and it just stunk to high heaven. I just had to uh, wrap that up and sit in the washing machine. At first, I was washing the skeins. I didn't have this at the time. But then I just started creating the pattern and then just um, washing the uh, thing after the fact. Okay, Classy Kim. I thought she was laughing at somebody. You feel like an athlete. I'm over here cracking up. Ha ha, you cracked me up. I feel like, you know, we are doing laps. Put a thing around your neck. Crafty Kentuckian, I think I know why the alcohol, Alicia. <laughs> F. Jalip, Anonymous Amy, try using a, a lingerie, lingerie bag in the washer. For some reason, every time I see the word lingerie, I say lingerie because that's how it's wrote phonetically. <laughs> hey, hey, Deanna, I use a Sheep and Stitch YouTube video her beginning knitters videos are good, are so good and easy to follow. Uh, anonymous Amy actually crocheted a co cotton mesh bag that could be used for all that. That's a good idea. All right, let's see. Did I miss anything during my? We got the tips. Last page. All right, guys. Do you have? any question it's time to ask your question now is we're going to have our chit chat and all that good stuff and while we're chit chatting remember you can always help donate through super super chat it helps keep this channel going oh and i told you i was going to talk carrie did the skein fall apart mm. 
And I've told you I was going to talk about uh, my income report that I was supposed to talk about in the beginning of the tutorial, not tutorial, beginning of the video, but I forgot. And I was supposed to mention one of my followers that I didn't, I didn't get happy mail this week. But I do get happy emails and happy messages on my Facebook. We had a wonderful follower. Let's see. She created one of my patterns. Her name is Mercy. Where's she at? Lie. There we go. If you are in the live stream right now, I only know your name by your YouTube name, Mercy Low. Look at the sweater she made. Absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my favorite sweaters. If you can crochet a granny square, you can make this. It's just made in two simple pieces, the front and the back. Bam, anyone can make it. Thank you so much for sharing this pattern. And since we are here, we might as well do my income report. Let's see. Maybe I shouldn't let you see my, uh, let me take this off. Exactly. So I'm going to look behind, go to my uh, Google Sheets. To tell you what I made this past February. Forgive me, guys. I'm clicking through the links. This should have been done in the beginning, but I so forgot. Profit loss transactions. Okay. I guess I can bring you get up. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hey, husband. I'm still on live stream. Okay. You I'm all right. Love you. Bye. All right, you guys want to see my income. That's what we're going to look at right now. Okay, display. This month, I did a little bit of spending. All right, where are we at? We are in the month of February. I made for February so far. Well, so far, February is over. I made a little bit over $1,200. That was from my... Uh, crochet pattern sales from my uh, AdSense, my blog, from selling t-shirts and materials. That's what I made that from. We'll scroll down. What did I spend this month? I spent a good miss, a good bit this month. I had a total expenses of $400. What the heck did I buy? I know what I bought. Let me get out of here. You guys remember when I made this... Uh, cartoon video i bought software to continue to make cartoon videos for to make you know informative videos that are like interesting but i spent it and i made this video i'm like i'm gonna make these all the time and nobody watched it so it was like a live and learn lesson i paid 200 dollars for the software and i didn't need it so i wasted my money but minus that <laughs> The, what I typically spend each month on um, to continue this uh, YouTube channel, to continue my blog, I pay $15 a month for my uh, email list, not my email list, to my email software so I can send people emails that are on my email list. I pay, uh, what I pay else? Uh, there's, a, oh, pattern fees I have to pay every month. But overall, I grossed twelve hundred, but I believe not gross. I netted twelve hundred, almost uh, thirteen hundred, but I only grossed like close to nine hundred dollars, like eight hundred and forty-four dollars for this past month. Usually, this time of the year, I don't make as much money because it's the off season. Once uh, Christmas is over, my income goes down until it hits August. And when August comes, that's called what I call the yarn season. It goes right back up. All right, let's see what's going on in the chat. Let me scroll up, see if I miss anything. Do, 
Do, do, do. Okay, Sonja, at Alicia, is there any tips on making patterns to fit plus size? I have so many people who want popular styles, but very few plus size items. Um, are there any tips for making plus size? It's actually, uh, my patterns, I would say my patterns when I create them, especially clothing, are for beginner to intermediate crochet crocheters. My patterns are never created for clothes are never created. I'm sorry if I'm sniffing. This is still the cold from last week. I know it's gross, so forgive me. My patterns are never created in a round. My patterns are so you can blank out and watch TV. So when I make a top, let me pull the camera down a little bit. I make two squares. Uh, let's see if I got some paper. Excuse me, I'm ripping up paper to try to give a good example. All right, so I created, let's say, uh, for me, I create something from shoulder to shoulder width or half of your bust size, just one panel, and that'll be the front of your shirt. So the half of your bust size or the half of the width that you want, whatever size you are, if you're in plus size, go to um, the Craft Council, Craft Guild Crochet Council, You'll have a great list of crochet sizes. I'll link that, link that after the live stream. But you'll know how wide to make it. And the back half of the panel is the back half of the top. And look, I'll leave this open for the head. And I'll leave some spaces for the arms. Mine are just basic panels. If panels, if you can create two panels, you can make any top. So for plus size, just make sure it's wide enough for somebody's plus size. Simple as that. But if you're doing something more intricate, you have to ask that designer. My designs are simple, easy, and quick. I like to do Netflix and crochet where you can blank out. Victoria Price, at Alicia. I tried to follow a pattern. I felt illiterate. Any questions? Any suggestions? Um, if you're following a written pattern, think, I know it seems confusing when you look at a written pattern, but the tip to follow a written pattern is to say, the pattern out loud. No, I usually try to explain this in words, but let's hop down since we have the technology. We're gonna look at some random crochet pattern. Actually, we're gonna look at my own crochet pattern. Let me make sure. Yep, we're still in the stream. Here we go. Littlejohnyarns.com. Yeah, see, this is my website. Make sure you go to my website, check out my patterns. All right, let's find a super basic pattern. Actually, we'll just go to this one. Look, that's what my husband looks like. He's so handsome. Why isn't the page popping up? What's going on? Is my internet messing up? No. Is everything still working? Yes. Why can't I? That's weird. Hey, Jade, is your internet working? Okay, uh, guys, is my internet working? Some, okay, it is. Okay. All right, something just froze. Here we go. Now we're gonna learn how to read a pattern. Let's look at round one. If you've never been a person to read a crochet pattern, this looks absolutely like gibberish. So chain three, I'm gonna assume that you already know your abbreviations. Say it out loud. So you're just gonna chain three. Then what are you gonna nest? Two DC in the ring. That means you've just placed two double crochets in the ring. Chain one. The next step, cluster into the ring. All crocheters leave tips to what exactly is a cluster. For me, I left a tip on what a cluster is up here. A cluster is three double crochets into one chain ones, into a chain one space. So back down to here. So what you're gonna do, 
you place a cluster, three double crochets into the ring, chain one. These are in parentheses. So you do it three times. What do you do three times? You do what's in the parentheses three times. Just read your um words out loud. It looks crazy, but when you read it, it makes sense. Then after you do those three, you're gonna go slip slip stitch into the top of the chain three stitch to join. At the very end, when you see this, that tells you how many clusters you should have at the end of your row. Each time when you see these in parentheses, it tells you what's happening at the end of the row. Oh my goodness, I need to edit my video. Look at that, round three is stuck right there. Hey, you guys can edit the video with me while we're <laughs> doing our live stream. But basically, you can see exactly how things are put together. Don't be afraid of crochet um, patterns. Just say the words out loud. As soon as you say those words out loud, you'll be perfectly fine. And if you're wondering what exactly you're looking at right now, this is my blog. This is what a blogger's uh, website looks like behind the scenes. <laughs> this is what I do every single time I post a blog. I have to go through all this. It's basically point and click. So we all seen that mistake that was in my blog. Let's fix that. Right there. Round three is in the wrong spot. Sorry about this, guys. I usually don't do this while I'm live on camera, but I know I won't remember to fix this later. Bam. Update. All right. Thanks for being patient with me, guys. All right. That was back to my face. What's going on in the comments? Fun Yarn says, at Victoria Price, YouTube tutorials is how I learn to follow written patterns or just follow online video tutorials that show them working on a few patterns. That's a great idea. Any one of my uh, crochet uh, tutorials, that video tutorials, always has a written pattern. I'll always leave that link below the video. So you have a free pattern to look at and the video tutorial. So if you're ever stuck, <laughs> you have both to work along to. Aquarian Queen, I keep forgetting to purchase one of your teas. I also want a coffee mug. Hold on, there's my daughter, yes? What's her name? You want to come over? You want to say hi? I'm not done yet. Why not? I'm not done my yet. daughter's doing her face. She doesn't want to be seen on camera right I'm now. Good. Your cheek looks beautiful. What's it supposed to look like? I don't know. I it's made it. Sloppy. I made that cheek. It's beautiful. I made you from scratch, my darling. All right. Dieta, I put the YouTube video on my smart TV. So good. Actually, that's the only way I watch YouTube now because I have a smart TV too. I can't imagine not watching YouTube on my TV. My son uses YouTube as his regular basic TV. I promised myself I wouldn't be one of the parents that would let my children watch YouTube. I do. Meh. <laughs> Let's see what I miss. I missed a lot. I seen something from Aquarian Queen. I missed your comment. Eh. Bananas. Anonymous Amy, a great way to practice reading patterns is if you're following a tutorial that has a written pattern available, follow along with the written pattern to see how it works. Exactly. I have those. Follow along to mine. <laughs> Barbara Braille will definitely be trying to read out loud. Okay. Deanna, my mom would uh, read the pattern out loud to me to help so much. Rest in peace, mom. Rest in peace. Know what? That is a great tip. Just read it out loud. Sabrina Aquilera. <laughs> cool. Uh, there was another round in the wrong place. Round 15. Thank you. Let me write that down so I don't have to bring you guys back up again. I lost my pencil. Round... 15. Thank you. Wrote that down. Oh, thank you so much, um, Deborah, for leaving my link to my t-shirt shop. I have a lot of those. I'm actually working on a sip and stitch <laughs> coffee cup because that's what I'm always doing, sipping. I wish I could be like, who is it? Uh, DOY Creations. She does live streams every Sunday. She's able to 
crochet while talking at the same time. I can't do that. It's almost virtually impossible. All right, what else is going on? <laughs> Aquarian Queen, YouTube University. I have at least 18 degrees from YouTube University. Cheers. Misty Fan, I only watch YouTube on TV. I know. Time to fill up. Okay. Oh, I'm going to ruin this one. F. Joliffe. Um, Bakawa Designs Crochet website has a list of calculators, including women garment sizes and calculators. Ooh, that is a great tip. Thank you. Misty Fan, I want to mention you can kill dust mites, some germs, and get rid of minor smelly yarn by putting it in a putting it in a freezer for two to um eight hours. I put the yarn in a plastic bag. I'm allergic to dust mites. Genius. That is a good tip. Freeze yarn. Two to eight hours. Thank you so much. You get a cheers. Do you get a cheers? F your links. Sorry, chat won't allow links. Know what? You can still put the links, but on my end, if you try to link it, it usually pops up as like a hidden thing. Just send it anyway. And one of us, either myself or the uh monitors will let one of the moderators will let that link go through. So um F Jolif, make sure you go ahead and post that link. My little creations for crochet. I usually read the whole pattern before I start just in say just in case something is a bit off. I like to read the pattern so I can kind of crochet it in my head so I can picture the shape ahead of time, if that makes sense. Because I can read the pattern now and see the shape in my head before it ever happens. If you're a heavy crocheter like myself, you can see what you read. It's weird. I couldn't, when I first started reading patterns, I couldn't do that. After I did a lot of custom orders and so many different shapes and styles and creations of things, I learned what, there's another last string about that, about increasing stitches, what stitch placements can do and how they can create shapes. Okay. Pink Froggy Crochet. What are some good hooks to use for someone who has rheumatoid arthritis? I definitely um, recommend any type of ergonomic crochet. Er ergonomic crochet hooks. Let's see what I have in my stash. There are a lot of attachments. If you don't want to go and buy like an expensive uh, ergonomic crochet hook, there are attachments like these. The only attachment I recommend, sorry, it's in a little bag. I believe this is, I forget who this is made by. Is it Boy? I think this is made by Boy. This is one you can stick on any one of your crochet hooks, but it also works in your Susan Bates crochet hooks. But you got to make sure you don't lose the pieces. There is another one that everybody always talks about. It's by Clover. Tulip? I forget. No. E Guys, give me your recommendations for ergonomic crochet hooks. There's one that everybody always tells me to get, and it's from Clover. I do not know what it is. Melinda. Hi, little John. I'm new. I mean, eh. I'm new, a crocheter, and I just saying I'm having fun. You know what? Keep having fun and keep crocheting. Crocheting can keep you from hurting somebody. <laughs> it's a very relaxing hobby. I definitely recommend it. Actually, I don't have to recommend it. That's why all of you are here right now. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. What else is going on? You guys have any questions you guys want to talk about? Money, blogging, YouTube, yarn business, um, patterns whatever let me know that's it thank you anonymous amy clover amour that is what everybody's telling me to get <clears throat> i've been hesitant to get it because i believe clover amour has that uh what is it that rounder boy shape i'm not sure but guys let's go look at the clover amour and how much does it cost let's see let's go to amazon Clover more crochet hooks. And why are these so fantabulous? Let's see. Oh, these are super cheap. 
Are these? Oh, that's not a more because these are. That's not too bad of a price. I'm, is this a clover more that I have? I'm trying to look at a crochet hook that I have right now. I think I have one. Now that I'm looking at it, I think this is what this is. My uh, size N crochet hook, boy. Oh, I didn't even realize I had it. Realize I have it. So if you are a boy lover, <laughs> definitely get one of these. Personally, I am a Susan Bates for life. I need to like get like Bates tattooed across my knuckles so I can be like yarn gangster. <clears throat> okay, um, fun yarns with MC. Alicia, you're so talented. It's amazing how you're able to see the pattern you design before you write, write down the pattern to follow. I see bubbles, who did that? My little creations for you, crochet. Look, guys, I didn't jump that time. Ah! I got bubbles in my eye. <laughs> Ow! Where's my thing? <laughs> Thank you so much, my little creations. I got the button. Everybody give her cheers. <laughs> cheers! I got bubbles in my eyes, but I didn't get scared that time. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. Clean off my uh, glasses. Uh, Mary Ford says, the clover hooks are on Amazon links on Secret Yarnery. You know what? Those are affiliate links. Make sure if you are going to purchase it, go to her uh, Secret Yarnery site and click on her link. Those affiliate commissions can help crochet youtubers so much we don't get paid a lot but it helps us continue to do things like that so go to secret yarnery's site wherever she missed it and click on that link that is awesome aquarian queen thank you so much she posted the link 14 uh 14 sizes crochet hooks she left the link right there so everybody click that and check it out oh there's a lot of chats going on i'm missing stuff here we go. Fun Yarn says, cheers. Uh, <laughs> Anonymous Amy, cheers with my coffee. LOL. Ain't nothing wrong with it, girl. All right, what else we got in here? F. Joe left the bubbles are bouncing off your hair. I know. <laughs> trying to scroll. Where are we at? Melinda. OMG, thanks for the shout out. Love you. And any advice on crochet for getting? Also, what kind of wine do you drink? Okay. The wine I'm drinking today is a Moscato, Moscato wine. I'm a sweet yarn. Guys, it's been two hours. So I've been I'm having a nice sip for the past two hours. So if my tongue gets tied, please forgive me. The wine I'm drinking is called Almaden. It's a box wine. Guys, you know I'm cheap. It's Moscato. Delicious. I love a sweet wine. <laughs> All right, we have a lot of cheers going on. Where are we? Left is right crochet with Sandy. Alicia, what does superwash mean? Superwash, uh, that's usually when you're dealing with wool, such as merino wool. When you can't put like, uh, what is it? Uh, wool in the wash machine. Let It will become, what's the word? Like, felt like felt it it would like mat together so therefore you don't want that with super wash yarn you can stick a wool hat in the washing machine and it's perfectly fine it won't shrink up and do that like what's the word i'm looking for is it it's not felt it because felt is when you what's the word guys i can't pinpoint it but you know what i'm talking about you should never put non super wash wool in the washing machine because it'll just ruin your garment. So make sure if you're buying it, buy Superwash. I hope that answers. It's kind of vague, but it kind of answers it at the same time. <laughs> a Dawn's World, bubbles are dangerous for adults, apparently. <laughs> Melinda, OMG, thanks. For, oh, I just read that. Uh, Megan, I just bought your top pattern. I like to make them for the spring. What yarn would you recommend? Which top pattern? Uh, hmm. I wonder which one did you buy? If it's the 
actually my patterns would go with anything for the spring i always love my Caron simply soft you guys i'm right there i'm just walking around the corner and grabbing some yarn so you can still hear me i'm still here okay people love or hate uh is your face pretty now everybody come see my beautiful face daughter there she is look at that <laughs> makeup her make they, get, they didn't see your eyeballs they need to see them beautiful eyeballs look at that eye i wish i could do that look at i need some of that why don't you do that for your mother so i can look like you i want to look like i'm 20. <laughs> Okay, what were we talking about in here? Where are we missing? Hmm. Oh, unapologetically mocha. Piling. Peeling. I don't know if I ever pronounced this right because I'm a crocheter. I usually read words and I read it inside my head and never say it out loud, but I'm saying it out loud to you. But piling, peeling, piling, that's when the yarn starts to fuzz. Have you ever um, washed one of your crochet items and it creates this fuzzy halo? I don't have any, this hasn't been washed. Can you see a halo around here? Probably all my hats. Oh, give me one of your hats. Okay, my daughter's gonna bring me one of her crochet hats that I've um, made for her that she's washed several times. You want something that doesn't like create fuzz balls after you wash it several times and fall apart. She's coming in a second with that. While she's doing that, let's see what's going on in here. All fun yarns. I love her eye makeup always. She does beautiful. I, I gave her the eyes, but I wish I could do the eye makeup too. I can't. I can just do the uh, 1990s wing. That's all I got. I, that's that's as much as my makeup skills look like. Aquarian queen, Um, you look like you're 25. They're all like missing. Okay, give me your sweater. She lost, she, all her hats are missing, but I have her sweater. Okay, I made her this sweater. Let's see if you can see the fuzz. Can you see a little fuzz around it? This one wasn't, this has been washed several times, so I say the uh, peeling on this isn't too bad. This yarn is a, unfortunately a discontinued. Mmm, this smells good. This is a discontinued yarn. What is this? This is fantasy yarn from my Rest in Peace website, BBNY, Rest in Peace. But this was a nylon and acrylic yarn. Awesome. You'll see a lot of non-peeling yarns in the, what is it? What is her name? Deborah Norville? Is it Premier? Something like that. Should they have them anti-peeling yarns such as those? Okay, let me scroll up, see if I missed anything. Anonymous Amy, please do mommy's makeup for the live one day. I don't know. I think a lot of the yarn people will be like, why am I here? I thought I was here for yarn. Why is this old lady getting makeup done? <laughs> Jada, you're getting like, um, you're pretty. Deatra says you're so beautiful. Thank you. uh, my little creation says you're beautiful. Trisha says you're beautiful. I made her. That's why she's so beautiful. Hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, you're a wonderful daughter. And Classy Kim says your daughter is stunning. Fiber theory. Any idea what other crocheters do? Um, any idea what other crocheters do collaborations? I'd love to do one soon. I'm in AZ. Maybe an online collab could happen. Hmm. Everybody, if you think about one, give her a shout out. Oh, if you have a YouTube channel. Uh, guys, make sure you go check her out. I'm going to check you out after the live stream. Here we go. F. Jolif. Love this yarn. Has low pill yarn. It's soft and smooth. I have that over there, but I, I don't think I have any items that are finished with it right now. <laughs> Misty Fan, your daughter has great makeup skills. She does. Unapologetically Mocha, what is she wearing on her eyes? What are you wearing on your eyeballs? She'll be right back. She'll let you know. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Classy Kim, um, 1990s wings. That's me. Ooh, Fiber Theory says right now, Joanne Fabrics is having a pretty good yarn sale. Uh, uh oh, here she comes. Let's see what my daughter's. <laughs> okay. I feel like a beauty YouTuber now. What's this? What's this, Jada? 
um, technique, I guess. I got it for really cheap at Gabe's. <laughs> and the shimmer, I used the... That's okay. The what? Jackie Ina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Anastasia, but how much does that cost? I got it. How much does that cost? How much is that? Forty five fifty. Fifty dollars. My daughter got fifty dollars. It's, it's like forty five. Forty five dollar eyeshadow. Forty. Forty five dollar eyeshadow. I can't be mad at her. Because I guess we all have our addictions. My daughter is addicted to makeup. Addicted. But maybe she inherited an addicted personality. Because as much yarn as I have, she got a lot of makeup. <laughs> all right. Um, ooh. Uh, F. Jolif, I'm about to order a pizza. I'm hungry. Unapologetically Mocha, I think a collab would be fun. I just restarted my YouTube channel. Are you doing a crochet YouTube channel also? All right, what else is going on in here? Anything? Remember, you can always help support this channel by donating through Super Chat. You know, if you do, one of these cool little bobby things will go off. <laughs> and all my stuff is all pushed over to the side. Oh, Aquarian Queen. I won't <laughs> I won't lie. I'll spend 45 bucks on a palette. Woo! Mm -hmm. I, my daughter's you know what I got that one in Disney. Story. Uh, a couple years ago, my daughter's band school went to Disney for a trip. So I decided to, you know, she needs money to be in Disney for a week. So I gave her like several envelopes with money. So you know exactly how much money to spend a day. How much money were you supposed to spend a day? I forget how much a day. Okay, let's say it was 70 bucks a day. She was allowed to spend 75 bucks a day. And it was in each envelope for each day she was gone. The minute she got off the bus, the minute she landed in Florida, they went to the mall. And how much did you spend? 80. She spent $80. But she didn't even make it to Disney. She made it to a that Florida was mall. That was the first day, though. That was technically so she all called it. Was go to the mall the first day. So she's like, technically, mom, it was the first day. So I just spent the first day. I'm like, children, children. Fun yarn says, Alicia, wait, your daughter should have her own YouTube um, makeup tutorial. I keep thinking so. I want my daughter. To, she's in college right now, and I believe she works at Taco Bell. She pays her own. She pays her own phone bill. She pays her own um, gas for her car. I would, but she works at Taco Bell. She works a lot. She's a great student. She works hard and she's always gone. I'm like, baby, why don't you think about doing some YouTube? I've done it before. I can help you. Maybe if you can YouTube, you can have more time at home and more time to do homework and not worry about all that working at Taco Bell making minimum wage. But Mom doesn't know anything. Yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> Melinda Snyder says, can I send you wine to your P.O. box? I know a great one you might like. It starts off dry, but after that, it tastes tropical flavor, and I swear by it. Is it legal to send wine? I don't know. I guess you could. I don't know. I've never, I don't know. I guess you can order wine online. I was going to ask my daughter, but she better not know because she's only um, 18, 19 years old. <laughs> Okay, Reese says, I want to turn this into my channel, but wasn't sure about content. Turn what into a channel? Whatever you do, turn whatever you want into content. Listen, it's 2020. When I was a small child, people used to ask me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I had absolutely no clue what I wanted to be when I grew up, because guess what? It wasn't invented yet. YouTube didn't exist yet. Blogging didn't exist yet. But guess what it does now? When people ask, so I, I do still have my day job. I'm working on not having one. <laughs> when people ask, what do you do? I'm like, I blog, I YouTube. They're like, what do you mean? How do you make money doing that? You can make money doing that. You can make money doing what you love. You can make money crocheting. You just had to put forth the time. Okay, unapologetic mocha. I've got $50 palette. <laughs> I've got a $50 palette and I've got a $4 palette. I used it together to come up with some good looks. 
I wish I knew how to do makeup. I don't know how to do makeup. I know how to put on lip gloss and I know how to put on eyeliner. And I learned how to uh, fill in my eyebrows because the older I get, the less eyebrows I have. Have you guys noticed any of this? Nobody told me when I grow up, my eyebrows would disappear off my face. <laughs> They're gone. I'm like, Jesus. All right. Okay, I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Here we go. Tawika? Tawika Naomi. I'm from Uganda, uh, madam, and I need to buy some yarn. Listen, okay. Oh, I think the majority of the Americans, well, they're American and worldwide. I got on my blog spot. Just look in the link below. And anything outside of America, well, actually, no, because once I got in the link, the description box is just um, Australia, the UK, and Canada. And the worldwide ones, they're all in my blog. So make sure you click that link on my blog and save it to your Pinterest or whatever and come right back to this live stream. Anana's Amy, if you don't mind me asking, what is your day job? My day job is my night job. I'm sorry. I keep sniffing. I don't want to sniff off camera. I don't want you to hear me. Give me a second. Sorry, I hate sniffing on camera. Well, okay, my day job and my night job is my night job. I work as they call me a teacher counselor or a therapeutic aid. I work with individual children who have intellectual disabilities. I've been doing that for the past 20 years. I love it, but now um, I work midnight shift. So, which can be a little bit rough when I'm trying to do my crochet uh, entrepreneur type stuff, but I make it work. <laughs> All right. Ooh, do, 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 do. Oh, Fiber Theory is a new stuff subby. Thank you so much, Mary Lou, Auntie Loopy. You can order wine and send it to people. You just can't mail it yourself. Oh, I did not know that. Thanks for the tip, Mary Lou. G hey, hey, what's up? A GG the Crochet Queen. Yes, you can order wine online. You just have to some just have to have someone 21 or older to sign for it. I order Baltimore wine. Ooh. We should have a wine uh, live stream one day. Let's see. Aquarian Queen. Oh, uh, black teas are good to darken your eyebrows. I need that. I had one of my coworkers had dyed my eyebrows for me. It was like some just for men, like beard color stuff, but we all just put it on our eyebrows. I looked amazing for like three days and eventually it faded a little bit. <laughs> Hoko Crochet, hello from Chicago. We say pop hair, team pop. What was it, two weeks ago? We had a, uh, we was talking about um, all your local dialect and what you say. I found out um, myself from Pennsylvania, I say pop. There's soda pop. There's a fizzy drink in the UK. There is a just soft drink. Uh, what's this? Someplace else, I forget. But there's so many uh, things to say for that. See, I'm very Pittsburghese. We like to say words like uh, hoagies instead of subs. Hoagies, um, written up instead of cleaning up. You need to red up your house real quick. Quick instead of Pittsburgh, it's pit birds. We uh, say it funny. There's so many things. A uh, jack off. <laughs> I don't know. That's a Pittsburgh word. But yeah, local dialect. Let's see. <laughs> see, Sexton, what an amazing day job. Thank you so much. <laughs> Unapologetic Moker says fiber theory. That's a good idea. Let's see. Fiber theory, soda here in Arizona. Guess it's more south and um, western thing. I guess so. Oh, we got Dietra with a team pop. Thank you, team pop. <laughs> Okay, Fun Yarns with MC. At Dietra, this is just for you. Same, and a bit of lip gloss is all I can do for with makeup. Some reason, I thought I was good at it in my 20s, 20 years after, I'm not good. That is so true. When I was, I wasn't allowed to wear makeup. I guess 
if any of you guys ever watched the Cosby show, I remember it was this episode back in the 80s. I think where Vanessa, she was wearing makeup, but her parents said, you can't wear makeup until you are 15 years old. So my parents gave me the same exact rule. You're not, a little, not allowed to wear makeup until you're 15 years old. So I used to sneak. I remember I used to sneak my grandma's makeup, her makeup, and this was the um, early 90s. So her makeup was older. I used to steal this pink fuchsia lipstick and wear it to school and think I was so cute. It was horrible. But by the time I was allowed, I, I at that time, I was like a makeup guru. I was able to put stuff together. Nothing compared to what these little girls are doing now. These girls look like completely different human beings. Like, love my daughter. I gave birth to her. But sometimes after she comes out of her room and she puts her makeup on, I'm like, who are you? <laughs> you used to look like me, but now you look like something. I mean, she's beautiful no matter what. But I'm like man how did you do that they changed the shape of their face their eyes and everything it's amazing let's see <laughs> oh an apology mocha yes pixburg like a p-i-x pixburg <laughs> are you from pittsburgh how do you know that you must be from the local area there's an, oh, I lost the email. There was a um, young lady I wanted to meet up with that she was from the local area that I was going to talk about like meeting up and maybe doing like a yarn thing and have like a YouTube video view of us meeting. And I completely lost her, um, lost her within my email. If you're there, could you email me again if you're somewhere in this live stream right now? Hmm. Let's see. Deanna, when I color my, oh. When I color my hair, I color my eyebrows, but it fades really fast. Why does it fade so fast? I was thinking about getting, what's it called, micro, uh, that microblading on my eyebrows, but I'm a little bit scared. But if I was to take my finger right now and wipe my eyebrow, it would just vanish. It would just look like this on the side of my face because I don't have any eyebrows. They used to, I used to tweeze them. I had those nice, thin 1993 eyebrows that were just, pencil thing because that was cool at the time and it just thinned out my eyebrows forever i don't even pluck these things anymore it makes me sad oh let me put these glasses back on cover it up okay fiber theory i'm going to be live this evening at 6 p.m if you want to drop by hold on let me write this down fiber fiber theory she says she's going to be live this evening at 6 p.m. if you want to drop by. Just a basic chat about crochet, knitting, and anything related. I love to have you guys. But before we stop by, what time zone are you in? So it might be 6 o'clock your time, but it might it's not going to be 6 o'clock everybody else's time. And I think today is daylight savings time. So I've got to get used to that. going to lose some sleep. All right. Oh, here we go. It's Mountain Standard Time. So for me, that is an hour ahead. So I believe that's seven o'clock for me because I am Eastern Standard Time because I believe it goes Eastern, Mountain, Central, Pacific. That's all American. <laughs> Aquarian, don't do it. <laughs> all right, Jason, when I first moved to Pittsburgh from the South, it took me months to fully understand the lingo. Oh, where are you from? Are you exactly in Pittsburgh? Yeah, we do have Pittsburghese. You know, we like to eat uh, hoagie sandwiches with uh, coleslaw and french fries. That's what we do. <laughs> Teresa, did you go over the 26 places to buy yarn? Yes, but don't worry if you missed it. And if you're located in the United States, ma majority of the United States and worldwide uh sites that I listed is in a blog post. So you didn't miss anything. So click that link in the description box below and save it on your Pinterest so you always have it. And the places that are outside of the US and are not just worldwide, I link down below, which I believe is Australia, Canada, and the UK. Those are all listed down just in the description box below. One of the UK's ones was Wise Badger. You guys are lucky. So lucky. Great website to buy yarn from. Mm. Barbara, 
Eastern Central Mountain Pacific. Yes, that's it. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Oh, Debbie says it is 7.22 a.m. in Australia. That means it's tomorrow. Well, it's your today, but it's my tomorrow. So was it a uh, Sunday in Australia right now? If so, that's so cool. So it's tomorrow. You're in the future. Hmm. Yes, uh, yeah, living in the West Inside. Uh, this is from Jason. Yeah, living in the West Inside in Kennedy. Well, I'm glad to talk to another Pennsylvanian. Okay, this is Shari. Sherry Shari, addicted to my crocheting Montgomery. Aquarian Queen, how do you how do we set a reminder? Funny. I don't know either. But I believe you can only set a reminder when I post that the live stream is live. I usually let you know that I'm going live that day. I feel weird if I let you know I'm going live a week in advance. I feel it's strange just sitting on my page like live stream upcoming seven days. I just usually do it that day. So just be aware on Saturday if you're in, I guess if you're in Australia, <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> oh, Debbie Smith says, yes, it's Sunday. It's the future, Debbie. I'm talking to you from the past. Ain't that crazy? So if you're um, in Australia, this is, uh, I'm here every Sunday. If you're in the other part of the hemisphere, I'm here on Saturdays. For me, I, I go live to Eastern Standard Time. So you guys Google and do the math and see what time it is. I'm coming live with you. All right. <laughs> China White. Hey, it's China White from Facebook. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you so much. It's so nice to put names because usually Facebook and uh, YouTube screen names are completely different. So it's nice putting all these names together. Melinda uh, says, I told my boyfriend you gave me a shout out. And I just want to say thanks for all you do. I, I'm still new to making things. But I did make one successful project. Which was a mini bag for my aunt for Christmas. You know what? That's just one. You have many more to go. Crocheting is awesome. <laughs> Shari says, I did. All right, guys, I'm not going to be talking for too much longer. We've already been going to live stream for the past two hours and 25 minutes. So I'm just going to talk, see what these last couple chats say, because I don't want to leave anybody for like they didn't get their word across. Okay. I'm Paul Jazzy Mocha says, if you make a post about going live, it would allow your subscribers to um, set a reminder. Yes, I try to do that every Saturday morning around 8 o'clock my time. Aquarian Queen. Alicia, I've been visiting PA for the last month or so. Been staying in West Philly. Oh, I wish it was a little bit closer. I would love to meet you because Philly is, okay, five hours from me. I'm in the opposite side of Pennsylvania. I'm closer to Ohio. Ohio is like a hop, skip, and a jump for me. So that's way on the other side. Let's see. Fiber Theory. That's amazing at Aquarian Queen. Thank you. Um, thanks for the subs, guys. You rock. Make sure you check her out. Marion Ford. Tomorrow, daylight savings time. I'm trying to get used to it. I <laughs> actually work midnight shift tonight. So, actually, I'll be working. Oh, my thing came off. I'll be working an hour less than usual. So, I guess I'll lose an hour of pay, but I don't want to be at work anyhow. Oh, my goodness. Um, remember the um, thing I had on my neck that I told you I'm going to do for review? The cord already fell out. It's not broken. I can fix it. But when I do do a review on this, I might have to take a star off. All right. Hook, hook, crochet. I'm so happy to stumble upon your sip and stitch. I'm so happy you joined me. Make sure you um, come back uh, next week because I'm going to do another live. I don't know what I'm going to do a live about. I think next, I usually get a little stressed about what I'm going to do a live because I want to keep this informative. Because I know my personal life is absolutely boring. If I come on here and talk about the last thing I crocheted or my personal life, you guys might have a complete snore fest because you're like, mm. So therefore, every week is like a homework assignment. Look, look at this. This is four pages what we did today. Every single week, I have a complete outline. I study. I do this. All to be prepared for you on Saturday. So hopefully... After today, I'm going to relax. Sunday, I don't do anything. 
Monday, I stress on, oh my God, what's the topic going to be for uh, Saturday? But hopefully, well, not hopefully, I will send out a link for you guys to help me to have any type of suggestions because I'm always like, what can I do? So let me know what else is going on here. <laughs> uh, Dietra, 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 too many drinks. Next door neighbor, smiley face. Okay, an apology, Mocha. If you drive I 70, you'll go through my town. I know 70. I drive that to go to work. Anonymous Amy, would love to do a meetup one day. I'm in Cincinnati, but I live 10 minutes away from Northern Kentucky now. I really want to do like a group meetup where we all can just gather together. Actually, I wish I mentioned this in the beginning. We still got 121 people watching. I wanted, not too many people use my happy mail, which is fine, but I did wanted to do something to bring us all together. I was thinking about each one of us making a granny square. I would love a subscriber blanket. I'm going to create a pattern for a special granny square. And only if you wanted to, only if you wanted to, you can, um, Mail it to my uh, Happy Mail, my P.O. Box. That link is down below, but not yet. <laughs> I still need to create the pattern. So I can collect all these granny squares and create a YouTuber subscriber granny square blanket from all of you guys. And maybe in the future, make some stuff for like thrift, not thrifting, for um, donations or whatever, for homeless or for uh, hospitals, for children, anything like that. Okay. Sherry says, this is my first live with you and I really did enjoy everything. Thank you for the information. Anonymous Amy, yes, I love it. I've got my hook ready now. Pamela says, have a great weekend. Live two hours east of you. Live two hours east of you. Hmm, cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on my live stream and check me out next week. We'll have our wine. We'll have